Hey everyone, I'm Nervi and today I'm actually decorating my living room for spring. I put away all my Easter decor and I wanted to share with you what's my thought process as I'm decorating and what I'm doing different from my Easter decor to spring decor. This is what the living room currently looks like now that I put all my Easter decor away and I want to decorate it for spring using a pop of burgundy color and using florals I already have. Here's the other side of my living room. I put away everything that I wasn't going to use for my spring styling. I kept that one vase up there because I know I'm going to be using that for my spring styling. And then these stems I've had before on my entryway, but I decided I'm going to keep these up here for spring. These throw pillows right here, these are like my staple pieces when I'm styling my home after winter. I use them for Easter and I'm also going to use them for spring and I may just carry them out all the way until summer. These topiary plants right here, I made these myself and I'm going to be using these on my coffee table for spring. Sadly, I did not get to record when I made these, but I'll try to explain how I made them real quick. Here's a close up of these topiaries. As you can see, I have real branches right here that I got from my backyard. For the small one, I used only one stem, and for the larger one, I used three. I tied them together, and I already had pre-made um, floral balls, and I just stuck the stem, well, the branches inside the floral balls, and for this part right here, I covered it with real soil, so it makes it look like it's a real plant when people come over. I want them to believe that I actually have a green thumb. The first area I'm going to start off by decorating is my sofa and this year I want to add pops of burgundy to my living room for spring. This blanket I used for fall and I thought it would be perfect again to reuse for spring and see how it looks. This throw pillow right here, I got this from Walmart last year and if you saw my um, dining room decorate with me video, you saw that I added a couple of um, elements of bird decor in there and I'm going to carry that out into my living room as well for spring. For these chairs on this side of the room, I'm going to put these pillows. This throw pillow cover is from Amazon. I got a pack of two for $13. I'll have a link to, um, in my captions for you. side of my living room where I have the double mirror, I'm going to be styling it using my hydrangea stems that I had in my dining room during Easter time. This vase right here is from Lisbury's line with QVC. It's no longer sold. I got it last summer and I love how big it is and it just makes this area 
looks so much more full. These are the hydrated stamps that I'm going to be using inside that vase right there. And these are from Michaels, this spring line. They are original $10, but you could get them on sale currently. I believe they're 60% off or 50. I'm not really sure. I have a total of eight stems here. Next, we're going to style this shelf right here that's in my living room. I kept the vase that I already used during Easter time and those books right there. Only thing I changed out so far are the stems. Those wild daisy stems are also from Michaels. You could get them every day for $3. Sometimes if you have a coupon, you could get them for cheaper. This first piece of art that I'm putting up here, this art is from Hobby Lobby. They still carry this. Um, let me see if I could tell you how much I paid for this. Original, this is $30, and then when it's half off, it was $15. I got this about two years ago, but I know they definitely have it because I went to Hobby Lobby a couple of days ago, and I definitely saw this there. The next art that I'm using here is this bird print. This is going to coordinate really well with the pillow that I'm using in my living room. And this frame was from the thrift store, and I just have like a little digital print that I got from my local um, pharmacy. These vases right here, they're from Michaels. I got them during their fall line last year. I think the burgundy color is going to match the burgundy throw blanket that I have on my sofa. And to fill this empty spot right here, I'm just going to put back this candle opera that I already had over here. This is a thrifted item that I made gold using rub and buff. If you get the chance to see my early spring Easter home tour, then you'll see how the shelf was styled, how it looks kind of similar, but I changed up a few things. And if you didn't, definitely check out my early spring Easter home tour so you can see the difference, how I decorate my home for early spring and then the actual springtime. Now let's style my side table over here. Almost everything that I'm gonna style this area with is going to be thrifted. If you saw my video on Tuesday, my Thrifty Tuesday, I shared this candle holder that I got recently for $3 from Goodwill. And on top of here, I'm gonna put this vase. And I just have some tulip stems. And this was also a thrifted item. These stems here, you can find them on Amazon. Just type in Real Touch Tulips. If you would like, I can link it in my caption as well. I always style my coffee table last because this is the only area in my living room that I truly struggle styling. So I think this year for spring, I want to use these topiary plants, but I think I'm going to put them in a tray.
top of the books, I have two options. I could do a candle or I could do a um, stack of boxes on top. I could put, turn the books this way and let me show you guys that. Let me know in the comment section if you think I should put these boxes here or I should do the candle instead. I've been getting a lot of questions about my wooden rocking horse and this piece right here, I got it from Home Goods two years ago. During Christmas time, they bring out wooden rocking horses and if you are looking for something like this, I would just say keep your eye out during Christmas time at Home Goods, Marshalls, and TJ Maxx. Let me give you guys a full tour of how I styled my living room for spring this year. today's decorate with me video i hope it does inspire you to when you are selling your home not to just spend money but rearrange stuff around your house move flowers from one room to another to give it a new look also try to think about the decor items that you already have from previous seasons like i used fall colors in my living room for spring this year those pops of burgundy i think looks really nice for springtime so if you have similar colors in your home use those items don't just use fall decor during fall mix and match and play around with your decor next week I'm going to share my spring home tour with you I was going to share it this week but I was super busy the past week and I didn't really get to decorate my house for spring yet so I'm doing that this week and hopefully next week you guys will come back to see my spring home tour also on Tuesdays, I share videos related to thrifting. Don't forget to check out this week's Thrifty Tuesday video where I did a $10 challenge. Make sure you check out that video and let me know what you guys think. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. And also, I would really appreciate it if you could like today's video. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I'll see you guys next week. Bye for now.